How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. Today is a little bit of a different day. I'm not actually wrenching on anything. Today is actually kind of a cleanup day in the garage and a day to wash all the cars or any cars that actually do move. It's They're quite dirty, so get right into it, starting with the TC. If you've been following the channel for a while, you're well aware of this TC. It's been pretty much sitting, waiting for some parts to come back from paint. My friend Ruben's painting the rear spoiler because we could not save the carbon on it. The Lexan replacement roof piece. I know a lot of uh, TC owners wonder why is there no glass here or solid metal roof. This car actually had the glass. This is a uh, race, quotes, in quotes, uh, race themed vehicle. So there's a Lexan roof cover piece that needs to be repainted along with the wing and also the hood. He's done with the repairs on the hood, so I'm just waiting for him to lay paint down. He's been messaging me saying he's getting real close to having time to do it, which I totally understand. Life kind of happens for people and he wants to make good on it, so we're good there. But yeah, I can't wait to get this all back in one piece, get the audio system sorted out and figure out all of the little problem, you know, little quirks the car came with because I got it that way. As you can see, it's kind of serving as a storage unit for parts and packaging supplies. So at M2 Motoring, we do reuse a lot of the bubble wrap we get for a lot of the stuff because, I mean, that stuff just goes in the trash and I'd rather just repurpose it because all it's really doing is wrapping an item and protecting it during shipping. So back here in the garage, some stuff has disappeared already and been sold locally and uh, around the US. Thank you to everybody that's been buying parts. I know it looks like a huge mess, but you could kind of get a straight shot to the back wall. That was nearly impossible about a month and a half ago. Uh, have some miscellaneous Mustang parts still, more packaging material, and people think you hoard bubble wrap and foam wrap and all that. I kind of do, but I actually go through it quite a bit, so I'll burn through it and then not have any and have to go buy some. and then. When SEMA time comes around, everybody's delivering stuff on pallets and large shipments, and that's when I'll kind of just stock up on it because this stuff is not cheap, but I do go through it quite a bit. Still have the E90 Super Seats here. I have a couple of people interested. If anybody's looking for a super clean set, let me know. I was gonna use these in my Lexus IS, but decided to just use the stock seats, so I'm not using these anymore, so they are for sale. So hit me up if you're, you are interested. I have a few of the m, m Honda put rear pillar bars, strut bars, um, lower arm bars available still. Not a whole lot, but there's still some left. And yeah, now to the cars. The Mustang, if you've watched the most recent episodes, has been on a road trip to Southern California. The car did great, zero issues as I expected. The, what surprised me most was the mile per gallon, my gas, my fuel mileage. Granted, in the day we live in right now, gas pricing is going up, which means a lot of us are not happy, right? So this thing averaged 21 miles a gallon for being supercharged. I was decently impressed, actually pretty impressed, because I was only getting between 13 and 15 miles a gallon in the city, and then even on the highways locally in Vegas, I was getting maybe 17, so, you know, plus four to the mileage, average mileage was great. I know I could get even higher. I was cruising around a little, you know, kind of fast, but that's the way the car wanted to go. So yeah. So I wanted to get this car cleaned up and then also the SLK, haven't touched it since the last time you saw it. It's actually really filthy right now because it had to sit outside while I was doing the air cup install on the S2000 for Mark. So this thing is kind of a uh, very messy. So I do want to wash and clean up. I feel bad for neglecting it. And as earlier as you saw, the S2000 is just kind of, or my S2000 or Steve and I's S2000 is just kind of been sitting. Um, we want to work on it, but the amount of money that is required to get it to where we need it, the budget is projected at $30,000. And that's not including any support we get. That's just drivetrain, fuel system, things we can't get around. And I'm not made of money. Steve does pretty good, but at the same time, we both look at it and go, eh, not now. When we have extra money to burn, then obviously that will become the priority. But right now, 
there's other things that we're working on with M2 motoring and everything else we have going on in our lives that require, you know, us to focus our finances in those areas. So it'll eventually get done. Just right now, it's kind of put on hold. Uh, I know I get some DMs asking about the van, which I'm surprised. Uh, some of you have been following the channel since day one, which I really do appreciate. Thank you. And thank you to all the new viewers, recent, recent and new viewers. Uh, the van's still sitting at uh, Rom's shop and he hasn't had time to t touch it. He's been busy. They've been keeping him overworked at work, so I get it. And then also we had a deal for a uh, enclosed trailer that we were gonna buy. So that's what the van was for, but the deal fell through. We got outbidded on the trailer, which not a huge deal. Um, we got way outbidded by way more than what we were willing to pay for it because we had to do a lot of repairs on it. So the van is there just sitting, not in a huge rush. I'd like to have it up and running hopefully by summer, end of summer. So when all the stuff for SEMA comes around, we have a vehicle to tow with that can tow anything. That's the ultimate goal for the van and also some restoration work and of course upgrade the technology in it. So it's more comfortable to drive. Not that a 15 passenger van isn't comfortable, but make you know things technology friendly, have backup camera, Bluetooth, upgrade some of the stereo, uh, detail the interior. I'm sure you remember, if you've seen the video, the interior is pretty disgusting. But yeah, overall, everything's going pretty well. The other car that's not in the, not in the garage is the Lexus. That will be washed and detailed today as well. Um, that car still, again, need to work on some things mechanically for it and get that sorted out. And I do plan on doing a lot more mods to it. The more I drive, the more I enjoy it. But my biggest thing is currently, if I, if it's not running 100%, I get irritated by the little things wrong with it. So once I fix all that, I think I'll love the car a lot more than I do now. It's, it's a cool car. Kind of did it on a whim. Um, but overall, I mean, it's been a solid car. Even with its issues, it gets around town. Zero issues. I don't have any times I look down at the dash and freak out or anything. It's like the car just keeps going, which is amazing. So hopefully I don't jinx myself with that, but that's where that car is at. So hopefully in the next month or so, we'll get a lot of the issues sorted out. And then some cool stuff on the horizon for M2. So right now I have a couple installs coming up that I'll document and share with you. I don't want to talk about it yet. I don't know if the owner wants me to tell them, tell all of you, but you'll see the content when it goes up. So that's coming up soon. And then I also wanted to do some uh, history of M2 motoring, since some of you have been asking, you know, what other cool stuff have you done in the past? So I'll make a nice little video for you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on washing the cars and getting all that done. <laughs> 